Hi, I'm Jeff, and this is Microsoft Word versus WordPad. Now, if you haven't heard of WordPad, it actually comes with your computer if you have Microsoft Windows. It's a very quick and easy program in case you want to do some of the stuff that you need to do in Word, but not all of it. Word's a lot more powerful. As you can see here, I've got three windows open. I've got over here Notepad, another program that comes with Microsoft Windows. That's the simplest you can get. It's text, no effects, no bold, no underline, no nothing. At the other end of the scale, you got Microsoft Word. Now that is a word processor. You can do all kinds of things. You can make books. You can almost get all the way to desktop publishing with Microsoft Word. It's got bold, it's got underline. You can align the paragraphs any which way you want. And it does all kinds of cool stuff with tables, images, and so on. In the middle, we've got WordPad. WordPad is kind of you know, the, the, the middle child. It does a lot more stuff than Notepad, but doesn't do quite as much as Microsoft Word. You can go ahead and format things. I can, I can make things bold. I can make things underlined. Uh, italics, I can change the alignment on a paragraph. But you can't go all the way and do all the real powerful stuff, the robust stuff that Microsoft Word can do. Still, it's great for copying an HTML page from, from the web. You can pop that right in there. It's great for taking notes in class. It's great for a lot of simple text activities that don't require all of the power and flexibility that Microsoft Word has. And there you have it. I'm Jeff, and this is Microsoft Word versus WordPad.